Hey there everyone, Maria Marquis here, and in this video, we're going to take everything that we've learned and see how we can transform a basic Google Doc into something that's alive, engaging, and fun to use inside of Coda. So I have this little demo doc over here, and right now it's got some good text, it's all my details, there's some table stuff, but it's this infinite scroll and it's a lot of information and it feels very one way, like just read this and, and understand it. And I wanna create something a bit more dynamic so everyone can feel like they're involved. What I'm going to do here in my little Coda doc that I'm just getting started with is I'm going to type slash import and notice there's a Google Docs importer right here. I'm gonna choose that. The first time I use it, I just need to connect my account and then I can actually pull from my Google Docs. There it is, my little demo doc. Doot. Now it's ready. I'm gonna say, hey, show me. <laughs> so now I've got that information here in Coda. And now I can start to really uh, make this kind of shine. So the first thing, instead of having this be this infinite scroll here, I'm actually gonna drag and drop some of these into new pages. So I could take this motivation, I'm gonna have this be a new page. We're gonna call this the motivation page. Let's get rid of this other guy, we don't need that. Then here, the next thing I'm going to do is take this how it could feel. We're gonna take this and make it a nice big H1. And I'm gonna drag that over here into a new page. So we've got this as how it could feel. Uh, this Figma link here, I think I'm actually gonna take this. So I'm gonna grab that. And I'm gonna go here and make a new sub page. And I'm gonna take this and have it be an embed to a Figma file. I'll paste that. And now I've got that Figma file right in here so I can see all of that. So now back under this, how it could feel, we can get rid of that because we have it more dynamic. And maybe I wanna say, hey, check out the, and I can just at mention that page, the Figma file. We could then decide to have some images here, right? We don't need this, get rid of that. So now on this, how it could feel, I can go up to the top to our page options. We're gonna add that cover photo, choose from Unsplash. I always like to just use a nice bold color. That just feels great. And then we could even add some more images in line, right? So we could say, we're talking about who moved my cheese. So let's just go to Unsplash. <laughs> let's find a good cheese picture. Ah, a nice wheel, there we go. And we'll just move that over to the side, who moved my cheese. And we see that nice little link to the Figma, we can very easily go there. And now what I can do for each of these is I could actually add an opportunity for people to weigh in. So I really love to use the Dory and Pulse template, right? I can go down here, type slash Dory question table or Dory and Pulse. And now what I've got is a place for people to add topics they'd like to talk about as well as sentiments. And I could add this on every single page so I could see how are people responding to each step of the proposal so that instead of one big thing, you can actually get it all right there. Um, I also, if you clear that sample data, you can then just get rid of that. I also really like to add a done reading button to know, hey, has everybody actually made it through the whole thing? So I could say, all right, let's do a done reading button. One of my other favorite templates. I'm done reading, click here, just remove that. So now as people go, they can say, cool. And I'm just gonna copy that. We'll add it to the bottom of motivation as well. And we can add it to the bottom of how it could feel. So now I can know, are people following me along? And again, adding that little Dorian pulse at the bottom. So we can choose a Dorian pulse for each section. So now instead of it being this one big stale document with just tons and tons of information, I have this much more interactive experience where I can guide people through and have them be part of the process with me. I can also then see where people are getting stuck and where they might need some more support. So now it's your turn. Take a look at some of those infinite scrolls in your life and notice where you can add those little points of interaction with a Dorian pulse, a done reading button, and if anything, some nice header images and pictures inside. All right, I'll see you next time.